Uh, how much are these? <laughs> Just clicking the blow over. That's it, yeah. So you know the experience of a married man, eh? <laughs> Twice, mate. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Double bitten. <laughs> on the tin and a couple of quid on him. Yeah. Key rings. Quid for the lot. Yeah. I'll take it. Uh, so that's um, 15. Yeah. Is that, there's four for those. Yeah. Uh, 19. 19. 20. Yeah. 26. I'll do 25. 25. Okay. Yeah. And then you've got. I'll take those in. Yeah. Oh, okay. This is your battery. That's what you charge. Yeah. In the charger. Oh, okay. And you plug that into there. Don't turn it on while I've got my hand in there, mate. <laughs> Take your eye out. <laughs> and you make a drive? Mm. Sorry? Uh, 50 quid, mate. With the games? to spin because it spins it's fast yeah. take my face off and your ps2 sorry ps2 35 mate need to... Whoa. Whoa. look at these charging me yeah need to charge it scare it then bounce <laughs> no mate <laughs> no <laughs> Yeah, I think I've got most of those ones. Not that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You might have yeah. two quid. I've got modern ones in there as well, so yeah. two quid. <laughs> Take that one. Thank you. Oh, so, so, so. 
How much are your PlayStation games, please? And you've got the, uh, got a launch mat here that opens out. PlayStation, uh, two yeah. months, yeah. 250? Yeah. yeah, go on then. How's it going, people? Back with another video. This is Sunday's mega car boot haul and i won't go through all of it there's too much stuff some of it you you won't be interested in but the cool stuff i'll sh i'll definitely show you but it's going to be a, the rawest type of video you've ever seen uh, no order at all but this is how i have to do it because you just got crap everywhere um so just show, start showing stuff got uh, the annoying Crazy Frog, soft toy, with its tag still. That was a uh, 50p. A couple of controllers. That was with it as well. Um, got some Fortnite figures and stuff, but I ain't gonna show all them. But got this for a couple of quid. Uh, Xbox One Blue controller, which looks looks in good condition. And a PS4 controller, but no, mm, could be a could be a fake one. Actually, I'm pretty sure it is a fake one, but I'll I'll keep it as spare anyway because my one's getting a bit worn out. I don't mind if it's not official. So yeah, grab them. I grab this guy because it looked quite different, like. Never really seen a, a blue Buzz Lightyear like this, translucent. Just... Ooh, yeah, boy. Batteries might be going a bit dead. Whoa, whoa, he's going to blow up. <laughs> but yeah, grabbed him for one pound. Why not? These were shown on footage, I think. Uh, swooped in on these Game Boy games because I don't really see them. Boxed Tomb Raider Curse of Sword. That looks quite a cool game. A little platform game. Yeah, definitely a keeper. Um, oh, shit. I forgot to show you that, didn't I? Did the controller deal. And Casper on the GBC Game Boy Color. I was going to say GBA. Uh, a bit flat, but yeah. Uh, now with those two controllers, uh, she had this one for 15 scuff controller, but it's, it's a gamble isn't it, 15 quid, but we'll see, if, uh, yeah, it's a good price isn't it, because they are quite like cool controllers with the little um, things at the back, for more, you know, professional gamers like me, <laughs> not. Uh, and then oh, there was some little lad who was selling his uh, games so he had this Switch game which I got for £8 I don't know if I'll keep it or, or trade it depending on what it's worth I didn't want to look it up you know just uh, thought it was a fair price for that Lego game on the Switch it's got to hold some value in it um, what else we got? Any games? Any games? Any games? Yes, plenty of games. Um, got F1 Race Stars for one pound. 
I'll rattle through some games actually. Worms, Forts, Under Siege. I think these were ones from today, but I remember what I paid for them. Uh, Wii Party, uh, £2 or £3. But, um, yeah, it might have been 3 but it's a good, good one for trade. Move this Walker's Tazo folder out of the way. Uh, you get some crazy prices for these at the car boot. They're not worth a lot, but they're complete, and I'll, I'll pick them up if they're cheap. But they're really common. <laughs> um, some more SingStar. Well, this was a SingStar bundle that I picked up, like a ready-made bundle to go. Um, so loads of SingStar games and microphones, wired ones. I think for like four quid. So yeah, I grabbed them. Not that you'd be interested, like there's not. And these, I don't know, were these one pound or fifty p? I can't remember, but yeah, SmackDown versus Raw. Burnout three. Oh god. Uh, X Men two. Search and destroy by Phoenix. So it could be worth like ten pence, or it could be worth like ten grand. Uh, Big Mother Truckers 2, Dancing Stage Max, and one of my first games I think I played on the PS2, uh, 007 Nightfire, which had a good multiplayer. Uh, little random Power Ranger uh, from the movie. Uh, this was £2 off the store, Lord of the Rings Conquest. Looks quite cool. Fight for good or evil uh, as one of three classes. My kind of thing. Probably get around to it in like the next decade or something. Uh, this was 50p because of uh, the case. Like, not really into Mary Kate, you know what I mean? But you know, case is good. Good donor. Uh, this is a CX trade fodder. Um, like one pound fifty, I paid for it. The trilogy, Lord of the Rings. Right, well, I don't need to show you this crap, surely. But it was like twenty p. Um, I think it trades in for a pound at CS. Uh, Black Ops Three, Just Dance One and Two, and um, this PC game of Premier Manager Ninety Nine with good old Kevin Keegan on the front. Uh, one of Gremlin. Uh, Grenlim's Interactive, yeah. Uh, but the old manager games were brilliant. In 99, I was still watching, so uh, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, everybody needs one. Uh, Dirty Dancing, the classic story on stage London mug. Don't ask me why I bought that. <laughs> These were cool for 50p each. I don't know if they're the same ones as we got. I can't remember the designs. But 50p each Resident Evil coaster. Street Fighter Alpha 2. Dino Crisis. And uh, Resi 2. Nice. Uh, a couple of DS games. Buffy the Vampire Slayer Sacrifice. This, there is so much stuff. Project Rub, no idea. Rub, touch and shout, blow. What? Shout and blow to perform. Jesus Christ. And Nintendogs, Labrador and Friends. Uh, picked up this Polly Pocket. Uh, they're always good to pick up, if, especially if they've got all the pieces in them. There's definitely something in there, but... That's a nice one, isn't it? Um, it's like a rose design. It's pretty cool. Found this little guy in a little rummage box, original one, Pokemon figure. These were a thing in like I think the two th early two thousands. Remember the cartoon cars, like the posters people used to get and the models. But this is a I think the Porsche black Porsche uh, money box. Um, 
pretty cool. Well, I don't think I'll keep it, but I think they're made in the UK. It was only two pounds, so I grabbed it. I'm not going to show all that crap. Uh, Nora. Will it be a two par? Fucking nine minutes. I'll rattle through it. But this box of uh, Disney Bullyland figures from like, I think there's some of them are from like the 70s. Um, got like Tom and Jerry in here. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Uh, they're made in Germany. They're like hand painted PVC figures that are quite like. I do collect a lot of minifigures, so I'm all over stuff like that. Um, there's a game trader at our car boot. And I like to pick up a few Mega Drive titles off him when he brings them. So, Micro Machines 2 and Taz Escape from Mars. Both complete in nice condition. Fucking, it's not complete. No fucking hang tag. But I can live without hang tags. Um, a bag of pin badges. But I, I like to pick these up. Especially if I see a few cool ones in there. That's a cool one. Macho man. There are some cool ones in there to be honest. Uh, just going through them. There's a subway one. That's not stuff from that old, is it? What's that? Okay. Yeah. Nah. Got to go through all those. There's loads of nineties ones in there. Eighties. Anything else? Anything else? Yes. Loads. This box. Guy was selling some games. He had this Mega Drive. Um, I had the Mega Drive, but came with some games, so I'll probably get rid of the Mega Drive and uh, keep the games. I'll show you what the games were. Got a PGA Golf 2 complete. A Tasmania. That's complete. Don't have that. PGA Golf or First one, that's hefty. Yeah, Super Monaco GP. So yeah, 50, 50 quid for the bundle. Sonic the Hedgehog 1 complete. Uh, Wonder Boy in Monster World. Incomplete. And yeah, inlays uh, mashed. Sides are alright. Still have it on, like, on the shelf, but um, World Cup Italia 90. Are these complete? No. Nah. And a Genesis copy of uh, Super Hangar. Complete. Oh, two more. Two good ones, I think. Yeah, two good ones. Street Fighter 2. It's not complete, is it? No. Nah. Yeah, case is cracked in the middle. Street Fighter 2, a bit faded on the side. And the uh, Toe Jammer now. Which I don't think I have. Just rebuilding up the collection, so that was good. Happy with that. And Mega Drive, one pad, Hook Hooks. And then, oh, there's not actually that much left to show. Uh, got this for oh, two two quid on that. It's definitely been well thumbed. Got mystery dungeon, hefty guide book. Uh, that's it really. Nothing really. I don't think you'd be interested in seeing. Oh. I hope you enjoyed uh, looking through some of the stuff and uh, be back with another video very soon more than more than likely so thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one bye